Okay, welcome back to the second part of this uh, tutorial series. Um, in this video, we are going to finish off this init file um, and then sort of implement the system fully in the index.php file. Um, we might get onto HTAccess sort of things, but um, basically we'll just have to see on that because I'm not sure how long it will take to get through this first stuff. Anyway, um, basically where we left off, um, we had this in array check, um, so we want to check if the page they supplied is in the list of pages, uh, and if it is, we're going to define this include um, file variable. I'm going to give it the value of the core path, uh, which was in the core spelt wrong, core spelt wrong twice, core path variable slash pages, and then it was the page they supplied, which was get page um, dot page dot page page ink dot php like so um, and if the page is not valid I want to define the same variable um, but just giving it a default default value like so um, obviously you could combine this with this check up here obviously you have to bring this down lower so say you could uh, you could do these things first like say um, you did um, this or removed moved this around slightly delete that like so and then you could check this against false or no yeah you want to check if get page is empty or if it's invalid so basically this what this would do is this whole condition this block here would be run if the supplied page is empty or if the page they supplied is not in the array um, of valid pages it's probably a slightly better way to do it to be honest because um, then you can redirect them always back to the same page you know, people can't just supply weird URLs and, and get the home page not sure why that would be a problem but there you go. Um, but for this video, um, we're just going to go with the original method. Oops, too far. Which was this. No, this. Um, which will sort of, for any invalid page, they're going to get the home page, whatever's in the URL. Um, I usually use this method. Um, I don't know, I just prefer to not redirect people all the time. Less requests to the server for pages. Anyway, that's a bit irrelevant, really. Game bit off topic. So, yeah, uh, we have that. This is the end of the init file, so let's just move on to index. Um, what we can do here just to test that it's working is echo include include file. If I just reload up, go back to our page and hit reload, you see now we get um, we get the path to the file that will be included. If you remember, this portion here was our core path variable, um, so we're adding on pages slash the page name dot page dot ink dot php. If I just go to news, you see it changes to news. If I just supply something that's nonsense, you see it changes back to home. Uh, so what we want to do now is just include this file instead of outputting its path. So we'll do that using the include function, like so. Hit reload. You see now we get the same output as we started the uh, series with. The, this is a news page and the output of print underscore r get. Uh, which is just this file here. Basically, so this page is including this. We're getting the output. Simple. Okay, so that is the end of sort of the main part of this video. Uh, we're back to where we started with a working system. Um, we've got quite a lot of video time left. I suppose we could extend it slightly. Um, one useful thing that you can do is to generate the links dynamically so you wouldn't have to, to add a new page, all you'd have to do is literally create a new file in this pages folder. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that now. So say with these links, we want to generate these links dynamically with PHP. Um, luckily, as part of the validation, we um, defined this pages array, which contains an array of all the page names. Um, so we can easily use that to generate um, the HTML links. So let's do that now. Uh, in this block here. So um, so what we want to do is loop over the pages array, which we're going to do using a for each loop for each pages as page name 
And what we want to output is a link tag. So we're just going to echo. Um, use single quotes because we're going to be using double quotes in the href attribute. And personally, I don't like escaped quotes. They look ugly. So let's just do a href equals something. So that's sort of the basic tag that we're going to output. And what's going to go in this bit, this um, inside the tag here, is going to be the page name. But we're going to replace the, we're going to make all of the first characters of each word uppercase using the uc words function. PHP has that. And then here we're going to link to, so when you click on the button, it'll go to this page. Uh, page, question mark page equals, and then the page name. So to add in these variables, we can't use the normal like that because we're inside single quotes this will just come up literally as that string so what we want to do instead is end the quote a comma and then just the variable without those weird brackets and then at the end of it another comma space single quote uh, basically echo takes an unlimited number of parameters um, separated by commas so what we're doing here is echo we're echoing this and then this it's the same as having this on a new line with a new echo statement just less silly. Uh, we're going to do the same thing here, so I'm going to add two quotes, comma, space, comma, space. And then here we're just going to have uc words page name. Just realized I've spelled the other one wrong. Well, not spelled the other one wrong. Use the wrong variable. Whoops, like so. So now if I go back to our page and hit reload, you see we get the same thing, but these two links are being generated dynamically. You see that the first character is up at uppercase. Um, if I just remove this you see words function, hit reload, whoops, missed, <laughs> you see they go to lowercase. Uh, put it back because that's what we want. Um, so say if I wanted to add a new page, all I would literally have to do is create a new file in this um, page, let's call it new, um, new, I'll do, dot page dot ink, giving it the same sort of naming structure, and I'll just uh, delete the PHP because we don't want that. And let's just do, um, let's say, what should we say? Let's just say this is a is a new page, full stop. If I reload a page now, you see we get three links. Strange order, but yeah. That's, the, oh, the ordering actually, I should probably mention that. Um, you could probably control it somehow using an array or sort of defining your file names in a way that orders them correctly, but they will be ordered in sort of alphabetical order, more or less. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, this new page has been added, so we can click on that and we get the output in this whole template that we designed a minute ago. So you see how easy it is and sort of the point of this system, um, because, well, yeah, that's that. <laughs> um, basically, add it, yeah, adding a new page was literally creating this file and putting this in it. Uh, it takes very little time to add new pages to your site. So yeah, that's why I use this system anyway. Um, so that's, yeah, let's briefly talk about cleaning up the URL, uh, which we're using a dot uh, htaccess file and mod rewrite, um, which is a function of a function, a module of the Apache Apache web server. Um, pretty much all hosting providers have this enabled, so um, there might be an option in your control panel or whatever you use to enable it. Uh, so yeah, this should work on your server. But basically, what it'll do instead of having like question mark page news, we just have slash news which looks a little bit nicer and you can have it so you can also add in other get variables like get k equals seven um, okay so yeah let's just show you how to do that I guess okay so what I'm going to do to get this sort of HT access mod rewrite rule to work actually I'll just demonstrate uh, if I now just change this to home here and so we get this 404 error um, what we want to do is sort of translate this URL into this URL well, with the index.php, we will actually do, but never mind. Um, so what I'm going to do is just leave our browser on this window. Whoops, no, on this window. And then we're going to go to our folder, go back to our page root. I'm just going to create a new empty file and call it .htaccess. Like so. Uh, that, yeah. So if I just open that file up, uh, what's happened? It hasn't opened. Uh, okay. Oh, I see. If I just open this file up, there we go. Um, and what we f the first thing we want to do in this file um, is turn on the rewrite engine, which we do using the rewrite 
the oh god I can't type today right engine on then we want to just apply a rewrite rule rewrite rule um, this is sort of a function you could call it, it takes sort of three parameters and um, more directives this this directive takes one parameter on or off um, this one takes three the first one is a regular expression which you want to match um, which in our case is going to be start of the string end of the string and then we want to match um, all num all uh, what we're going to match is all characters in uppercase, uh, lowercase, and uppercase. Oops. And we're also going to match underscores just because they might appear in our page names. Uh, and we want them to be more than one character. That's what the plus means. Um, and then we're going to add an optional uh, forward slash after that, which is what the forward slash and the question mark means. Uh, and we want what we want to translate that into is index.php slash page equals and then this dollar sign one which means the first matched fa first matched pattern um, so basically what this matches will be put here it'll all make sense soon um, and then we want to supply this qsa flag which means that the query string will be preserved uh, I'll explain that again in a moment uh, so now I've just hit save go back to our page hit reload you see we get the home page with just slash home and if you see from remember from before uh, this page was print underscore r uh, get you see uh, get page is now home if we go to new oh <laughs> see our links have obviously changed so let's just change these links instead of being to um, question mark page equals let's change them just to their page name so if I now just click on them a few times oh dear let's reload our page Okay, our index page init.inc.php is also redirecting to the wrong places. Let's just redirect to home like so. Uh, if I delete this now and hit reload, you see we get redirected to slash home instead of what it was before. And these are linking to new and news. News is the news page. New is the new page we gave it a minute ago. And home is the one we're going to sort of talk about a bit more now because it has this print underscore our get that we're going to use. Um, if I just type in a load of nonsense, you see we get the home page and the fact that the get variable for page is equal to this that I typed. Uh, underscores will work. Um, what won't work are numbers. We'll get a 404 for that because they weren't part of our regular expression that we wrote. Um, but we're not going to worry about that too much for the moment. Um, the thing I wanted to mention is that the query string is preserved. So you know how you ha we had before um, the query string, starting with the question mark and then a variable which was page equal to a value you can still use that here so if I do var, var equals val hit enter you see it gets added to the get um, to the get array it, it works basically so you can still use the get array get data sent to this page you can still send get data to this page that's what I was trying to say um, should briefly mention the optional forward slash um, Jambaim said that the forward slash followed by the question mark meant it was optional, so this qu this regular expression will match this as well, with this forward slash at the end of the um, URL. Just it looks a little bit neater to me, I think, with the if you're using the query string, or if you're not, which also looks a little bit neater. Um, so yeah, that is HT access, and no, that's mod read right, and how you can make it to look your make, how you can use it to make your dynamic pages template thingy look a bit nicer. I don't usually bother to be honest because I don't know it just seems slightly pointless. So yeah uh, that's actually the end of this tutorial series. Uh, I've got through two videos and produced about 30 lines of PHP code. Um, but yeah that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully you learned something here.